Hello everyone. Now this time we have Beckman rearrangement reaction in front of us. Now first of all let us understand few important things about this particular reaction. Number one, this reaction is a rearrangement where any oxyme as we have shown in this diagram you can observe this C double bond NOH group that is that is indicating a presence for oxyme. Now if you observe it carefully, you can say that OH here and this CH3, they are opposite to each other. Since they are opposite to each other, we can say with respect to CH3, it is placed in anti position. Whereas with respect to hydrogen, it is syn position. Now, in this Beckman rearrangement reaction, we take presence of acid and we try to rearrange this whole compound which is oxime and let us see how will the reaction manage itself in this process so if you see this reaction it is CH3CH double bond NOH your focus should be on the presence of OH anti to CH3 when H plus comes normally in any such reaction the very first step when H plus come is O goes and grabs hydrogen so what will it form with this can I say with this it will try to give you CH3 C H double bond N OH2 plus in this process by removal of water we can expect that we are creating a kind of positive charge on nitrogen which is highly not favorable so to avoid any such situation we can expect that ch3 group will try to support nitrogen in this migration and during this process we can get this kind of result you see it will be hc double bond n ch3 and plus charge comes on carbon not on nitrogen that's very important thing okay now what has happened to this H2O? Can I say H2O which has come out will again re-attack on this carbon and in this process it will create CH3N double bond CHOH2 plus hydrogen which is present as H plus initially in a small catalytic amount will be considered here as a small catalyst which is used in the process so if you go back and see after moving this hydrogen out we can expect an answer which is CH3 double bond so CH3 we have now where is CH3 attached it is attached to nitrogen to a carbon and on this carbon we had one H and one OH this particular compound undergoing tautomerism can give us C double bond O at this place and we can expect NHCH3 here so if you observe this structure carefully so if you observe this structure carefully you can observe that this is a substituted amide we can call it substituted amide and one more thing we can understand the name of this compound since it is HC double bond O NH2 it can be called methanamide which is substituted with CH3 presence so N methyl substituted methanamide it is now let me ask one simple question to you if you understand the complete video then you can understand that if it is CH3 in a different position and rather we can say it is not in the previous position and the structure is given like this can you find the difference between this one and the previous one let us observe the previous one in the previous one as you can see here this CH3 placement so the placement of CH3 we can observe in this case it is to a position which is opposite to OH whereas if you go back and see this example now CH3 in the same direction of OH 
Now tell me, how we can differentiate these two conditions? So this time we can say it is sin with respect to CS3. Since it is the condition, so as we understood with the mechanism procedure, that the migration of hydrogen should happen in this case, not as CS3 migrated in the previous case. So what kind of answer we can expect? Can we give the direct answer? Let us try once. So in H plus heating in Beckman case, we can expect hydrogen being migrating from here to here and giving you final answer as CH3C double bond O NH2. Can I call it ethanamide? Certainly yes. So see, there's a difference in answer of this particular reaction. Don't worry about it. Now let us see some more cases. For example, you are given some particular group which is having some particular orientation as in let's say hydrogen here, CS3 here and C2H5 and in this case we have presence of hydrogen upward and CS3 is behind and in this situation you are drawing the structure where we have, uh, yeah, let us say put it this way, this is one group we can call hydrogen is a double bond n and one oh now in any such situation we can expect migration of this complete unit remember this migration is always maintaining its optical orientation which is earlier present so let's say this particular group is r type will remain r after migration and our answer will be hc double bond o n and on this position certainly we're going to get this group and yes we get this group so we'll along hydrogen and all so whatever orientation you have drawn for this same will be maintained at this particular example as well or at this particular location as well so that's very important here that we have to understand in Beckman rearrangement let's revise it once again what happens it's a reaction where oxyme undergo in presence of acid now you can take apart from it apart other than h plus we can take some other compounds it may be something which is as for example pcl5 socl2 khso4 or maybe some other acid the process of this thing gives us conversion from oxyme to amide so that's a learning here thank you very much for watching this video share it with your friends and like